Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about implicit weight. So what is implicit weight? It is a type of weight which is used in our code so that the execution or the set of code is paused for a certain period of time. Now what could be the use case for this? So there could be several use cases but basically that if we are trying to perform some action from one page to another page while the element load is going to take some time then we are going to introduce weight. Now we can use static weights like thread dot sleep or explicit weight as well but in case since we're talking about implicit weight we are going to discuss about the same okay so implicit weight is we need to mention a certain weight interval okay so it could be uh, in whatever uh, parameter we want to mention like seconds milliseconds uh, minutes hours days we have a lot of options Okay, so what like let's say we have defined the weight interval as 10 seconds. So what it is going to do is it is going to search for that element and it is going to give a timeout of 10 seconds. Within 10 seconds, it will try to reattempt to look for that particular element. Okay. Now there's a concept which comes into picture which is called polling frequency. Okay. So what does polling frequency means is in how much time it is going to reattempt to look for that particular element. Okay. So by default, polling frequency is 500 milliseconds. Okay. So in every 500 milliseconds, it is going to attempt to look for that particular element. Now we understand what is weight interval, what is polling frequency. Now why it is called dynamic weight? It is called dynamic weight because in case it is able to find a certain element, let's say within five seconds, then it is not going to wait for another five seconds and our five seconds time is going to get uh, reduced. So that is going to increase the efficiency of your code and decrease the time okay now this is applicable for the entire session of the browser and it is applicable to all the web elements now let's take a look at how to work with this okay so i'm using eclipse here i will just create a default uh, i'll just create a class here and we'll mention this as implicit implicit weight and I'll select public static void main. So I'll use one particular uh, uh, website example to understand this. So we have this website called saucedemo.com. Okay. Uh, my mistake, one second. Saucedemo.com. So it's a demo website for testing out your automation. So we'll use some basic convention standard user. So they have mentioned the username and password. Okay, now this is the password. My use case is going to be, my application flow is going to be, we'll launch this website. We'll log in with the credential and then we will click on this particular hamburger menu and then we'll click on the logout. So this is our scenario. Launch this, log in, click on this menu and then click on logout. Okay, now I have already created this uh, script here. So I'll just copy paste this so that we don't waste time in this okay so let me copy this here and i will explain this so basically here if you see uh, let me expand this so here if you see we have system dot set property chrome driver basic stuff uh, passing the path of the driver path and then launching the url maximizing it and then entering the user id the password clicking on login button then clicking on the uh, icon the hamburger menu and then uh, i'm clicking on the log logout side sidebar link okay so basically this will not work because uh, once we click on that particular icon the logout page load takes a little bit of time and the action uh, what we are performing here will not be able to find the element so i'll just show you this i'll click on this and see the page is loaded login has happened but the last action of performing the logout did not happen okay however if i will put a static wait of two seconds here thread dot sleep uh, i have to add one throws exception here so i'll add that and i'll just show you that in this case it is going to work so it has launched it has clicked on it will click on logout now and it has logged out so instead of using thread dot sleep, it's a static weight. We are going to use a dynamic weight here. Okay. Now, how do we use? So we will mention here 
driver dot manage dot wait sorry driver dot manage dot timeouts dot if you will type implicit you will be getting that option implicitly wait okay so here if you notice we have two options implicitly wait duration and implicitly wait long time time unit okay so one is a deprecated version however one is a new version okay so i'll show you guys both so let's use this this is the one which you should use right now implicitly and then we will mention duration and then we'll put a dot and this will give us all the different options which we can select from this like we can mention in days hours milliseconds minutes nanoseconds let's select seconds here and you have to just mention the amount of time you want to wait so let's say i want to wait for 10 seconds okay now i'll click on uh, i'll put a semicolon here now this is the command for using implicit wait pretty simple now what i'll do is i will comment this out so what will happen is it is going to wait for a fraction of a second till the time this particular sidebar is uh, located or it is visible and then it is going to perform the action so as the concept which i was telling you here that it will perform a polling frequency of every 500 milliseconds right so what will happen is this is going to happen a little quickly so even if i'm mentioning 10 or 20 it does not matter because it will skip the remaining time so watch quickly uh, i'll run this so our, this is launched logged in and logged out that is pretty fast how it happened okay so why why it has happened so fast is because of the because it is a dynamic wait and as soon as it found it has performed the action and uh, it got closed okay now this is uh, one way of using implicit wait however if you will see i'll just show you the another version as well which is a deprecated version what do we mean by that is uh, this is a more efficient way of using and uh, they don't recommend using the previous one but i'll show you that in case you select that so driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicitly wait so here if you see we have long time time unit if i'll select this i have to mention how much seconds i want to wait so let's say 10 and here i have to mention in time unit so i'll mention time unit and i'll put a dot and then again the same thing i'll get all the different options let's say i'll use seconds so i am mentioning that i am i want to define this time in seconds okay now i'll close this here you will see the moment i close this and the statement is completed this is being striked off so what does it mean is this method is deprecated okay now we have to add a warning here uh, so that is going to provide this fix so if i click on this you'll see on the top we'll get this suppress warning deprecation okay now if i scroll above this you see deprecated is mentioned here i'll click on this so here you can note one second that a program element annotated annotated deprecated is one of the programmers that has discouraged from using okay the element may be deprecated for any of the several reasons it likely lead to errors or there is a better way to do it so you can take a look at this if you want to use this this is also going to work but this is not encouraged to use okay so we'll check this out if it is working for our application or not so same scenario i'm going to use this so as long as login and then log out it is working perfectly fine however it is not encouraged to use so you have two options and whenever any method is deprecated you'll see that strike out option on top of it okay now whenever we are mentioning the implicit weight it is going to be applicable for the entire session of the browser and on all the web elements so that's how uh, wherever you want to put the weight like wherever it is going to take a little bit of time it is going to be managed by one particular statement it is going to be applicable for the entire session okay so that come uh, that covers up uh, the session on implicit weight and i'm going to put this in uh, description section as well uh, in case you like my content useful do like share and subscribe Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk